Police Minister Peggy Kale is expected to deliver the eulogy at the funeral service of yet another officer who's died in the line of duty. 26-year-old Constable Spesi Kale was shot and killed on the 16th of November at a tavern in Mbangeni when he and his team attended to a complaint. There was, uh, there's been a spike, I beg your pardon, in police killings in the province as the war against gangsters and criminals continues. New Dream Africa's Ndando Miandu is watching proceedings from Emma Kosini just outside Ulundi and joins us now live for an update. And that's going to be top of mind for many people watching this exchange in Dando. The number of police officers who are sadly dying while trying to do their work. The obvious question is, what will it take to finally curb this? Well, as you correctly put it, uh, I end up, there has been quite a spike in police killings in the province of KwaZulu Natal. You would know that uh, in less than a month ago, the police minister, Peggy Taylor, was in the province, you know, uh, to bid farewell to one of his members, uh, an official who was attached to, an, an, to the NIU division of uh, the police who was killed in the line of duty in Ntuzuma, just outside Deben, uh, whilst they were on, uh, uh, on the uh, heels of uh, the most wanted criminals in the area. You will know that uh, the province is characterized by uh, gangsterism, you know, drug-related uh, crimes and also uh, political killings. But right now we're coming to you uh, from uh, Emma Kosini village, which is just outside Ulundi in the northern part of KwaZulu Natal, where uh, a constable specifically uh, uh, is being laid to rest after he was shot at uh, last week, Thursday when they were attending uh, to a complaint at a local tavern in Mpangeni, which is also part of uh, by the northern part of KwaZulu-Natal. So when they got there, they found out that the suspect was armed. They tried to disarm him. Uh, he, he exchanged fire with the police, uh, fatally wounding uh, Mr. Kele, you know, uh, but he was also uh, fatally wounded uh, as police retaliated and responded uh, pounds for pounds. So today, uh, we of Centopros of the police in the province with uh, uh, Colonel uh, 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 Mkwanezi here, you know, and uh, 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 Minister Kele, you know, uh, uh, here in Emakosini to bid farewell uh, uh, to one of their own members. But right now I'm joined by the Ministry Spokesperson Liranzi Temba, who will tell us more about the war against this criminal. Liranzi, uh, it seems police are under siege, criminals are leaving nothing to chance, making sure that they are trying to outsmart and, 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 and actually uh, uh, kill, for lack of a better word, uh, a man in blue. Absolutely, Ntando. You know, the police ministry has gone beyond being dismayed, but we're actually appalled by the um, alarming numbers of police officers that have been killed in the country. Um, just um, a few weeks ago, we just released the, um, the national statistics of the crimes that are happening in the country. And we also revealed that um, in just three months, from July to September, 35 police officers were killed. This is something that we cannot just sit back and be okay with as a country. In fact, the minister, um, when he delivers his eulogy today, is going to reveal to the mourners here at uh, Constable Taylor's uh, funeral service how um, the alarming figure from April to date around the killing of police officers on and off duty. So yes, it is something that uh, we are very concerned about as a police ministry. Um, we are also calling on members to also, you know, as you said, go pound for pound with criminals because we know that with Officer Kele, when he lost his life, they were pursuing a suspect who was armed at that shipping. But not only that, we've now found out that the suspect who has since been killed is actually wanted for various crimes around this area. So we're glad that there is one person, one less a criminal of the streets, but we're also quite shocked and um, not okay that um, it came at the expense of one of our members. What becomes the immediate response uh, from the ministry uh, as you see that uh, KZ10 is becoming, you know, uh, a, fam a famous uh, uh, spot when it comes to police killings? Well, unfortunately, Ndando, it's not just in KZN. You know, just today, uh, the Deputy Minister of Police is burying another police officer, at this time in Broken Sprite. He lost his life in Tembisa when they were responding to an, um, an ATM bombing. So it's not just unique to this province. Of course, this province, it is more prevalent. We know that about three of our members were killed just in the past week. Um, so uh, what is being done, and, and this is obviously led by the National Commission of the SAPS, General Fanima Simon, 
Simula, basically just to reinforce the, the police safety strategy. And this police safety strategy is quite clear on a few points. One of them is that police need to utilize the, the, the tools of trades that are handed to them. For example, the Minister of Police, uh, time and time again, when he does um, address mourners, is always emphasizing the point that do not die with a gun in your hand. You know, um, uh, obviously we have to protect lives and this is basically the constitutional mandate of the police service. But at the same time, police also have to protect their own lives. Criminals, as you say, um, are very brazen and we know that. The fact that over 6,000 people were killed in just three months. But we also know that they are not choosy. They are killing everyone that stands in the way. And we know that police are really trying and have amped up their fight against crime. And this is why we are seeing these sort of casualties. Thank you very much, Lorenzi. Thank you. Well, that is the spokesperson to the police ministry, uh, Ms. Lorenzi Temba, saying that the police minister, Peggy Kele, has reiterated over and over again that police should not die with their tools of the trade in their hands, specifically guns. He says that if they come with guns, you can't respond with a broomstick. So today we are seeing another police member being laid to rest because of brazen criminals uh, that are taking police under siege here in the province of KwaZulu Natal. With that, it's back to you in studio. Ntando Miandu, really devastating story that. Uh, live to us from um, Emakusini, it's a village just outside Ulundi in KwaZulu Natal.